Hi y'all. So I'm here to talk about intention again and kind of trying to clarify it a little bit. Um, where, you know, when you're having an issue or just something you're trying to work through, um, or even you're just trying to, you know, make something happen or bring something about, you don't have to go to somebody else to accomplish that. You know, no matter what religion you're in, whoever you turn to or whatever, you know, you can do it yourself. You have a direct connection to God, creator, you know, whatever you want to call it. And literally that's all you have to do is set your intention and, you know, speak freely and pl plainly and just speak from the heart and say, you know, can you please help me with whatever, um, you know, like, you know, you can say, I feel like I can't do this. Can you please give me the strength to do this? Can you please show me the steps that I need to take? Um, can you please bring the people into my life to make whatever it is come about um, or bring about some sort of resolution uh, with it? And it's really that simple. Of course, we all need some guidance from time to time from other people. But your main source is going to be your own connection. Uh, with with God's source. And so I just wanted to clarify that. And the other thing is, in uh, the second part of my video, I talked about, um, you know, when you need something, it's there. And really, you know, sometimes it just takes a moment of awareness or being mindful. And I know sometimes those words are thrown out there and you're like, what on earth does that even mean? Um, but really, it's just, it's just kind of being quiet for a moment and waiting to see something that happens, you know, whether it's within a couple of minutes, within a couple of hours or within a day or so, but something will show up. Again, if you set your intention, like, you know, maybe you're just feeling like I need a little help, you know, or I just need a little pick me up. My energy's really low. Um, I'm just kind of feeling like blah or whatever, you know, and like when I was on my run the other day, you know, what I was trying to say, like here I was having trouble connecting and I, you know, set my intention you know, for, for, you know, God source to meet me where I'm, at, where I'm at. And literally within seconds, I had this huge wind come out of nowhere, just blowing all around me. Um, and it was so invigorating. And that's what I mean by looking around you or feeling around you for, you know, a message, um, for support. Um, it's in everything around you. It's in nature. It's in people. It may even be a pet. It may not even be yours. Um, you know, I went into the store the other day and this woman's dog was barking at me. Um, and this woman was, you know, embarrassed and horrified. Um, and, you know, I just kind of, you know, just did my thing and let her calm her dog down. And then afterwards I said to her, you know, you know, don't be upset at your dog. Sometimes dogs see things that people don't. And I said, I know I had something around me that didn't belong around me and was not having the best uh, in mind for me. It was not a good energy. And your dog was picking up on that. And so your dog was using protection and saying, hey, you know, you don't belong here. Get away from her. So, you know, and I said that to her so she didn't feel embarrassed about the way her dog was, quote unquote, behaving, um, because her dog was actually um, trying to be a protector, and that's a beautiful thing. Um, you know, I don't have a pet anymore, but I used to, and he used to do the same thing. He used to just bark, um, you know, you know, really intensely um, because he was a protector. And so... That's what I'm trying to say, like, with the things that are around you, they are there to support you and to help you and guide you um, and kind of help you see the things that you do need to see. Um, and, and it definitely is all around you in many different ways. Sometimes you'll get a song that will just pop into your head at that moment with a message. Um, and sometimes I don't even know the song. I'll like know a couple of words because like I've heard it on the radio and I'll have to go look it up and find it on, you know, YouTube. Um, 
and I'll listen to the song. And most of the time I will just start crying because the message in there was so spot on to what I needed to hear. Um, and, and, you know, it just, and that was how it was shown to me. Um, so don't discount these things. You know, people may say things like some, a phrase of words that let's say they don't normally say, or someone you don't normally talk to. And it just really hits that spot for you. And that's how you know, like that message was meant for you, even if the person had no clue they were delivering the message. Okay, anyway, if you have any questions, you know, certainly feel free to comment. If you've had any similar experiences, I'd love for you to share. Um, you could definitely like and subscribe. Um, go on to my website right now, which is spiritualjelly.com. I've got discounted prices for a limited time only, and then my prices will go back up. They actually will only increase. Um, I've got my individual sessions um, discounted as well as my audio sound activations. All right. Love you all. Take care.